Our next guest is a very talented actor who plays Dr. Floyd Reynolds on NBC's New Amsterdam. Please welcome Jocko Sims. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hi. So good welcome to be here. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's my first time on. I'm so excited. We're excited hey. to have you. Where are you calling from? <laughs> I'm calling from New York City uh, right now. You can't you can't see the background, but it's it's raining outside. But uh, oh, you ladies yeah. are definitely going to my day, so I'm excited. Spring to be here. showers, love it. Spring showers. I'm in New York as well. Jago, now on Instagram, I see that you have a close relationship with your mom. How did yeah. you celebrate Mother's Day? Man, awesome. You know, I'm in New York and she's in Los Angeles. And I haven't seen her in over a year due to this pandemic. So I always oh send her God. a few items, a couple of gifts here, some flowers. But we're really going to celebrate Mother's Day this June when I get to go with her to Jamaica. We're going to go on vacation. Oh. That's going to be the mother-son reunion after a year. She's been wanting me to go for years. I usually can't go uh, because I have to work. So we're going to reunite there. It's going to be amazing. She's going to love it. Mother's That's Day extended. That's incredible. That's nice. That's going to be know. awesome. Well, something else amazing that you're doing is your work to end child poverty in America. Tell us about it and why, it's a, why is it a cause that's dear to your heart? Well, part of that, you mentioned my mom. Part of that, uh, shout out to Karen Sims. How you doing out there, mother? She, yeah. um, you know, she really took care of me. She worked, you know, two and three jobs when I was growing up. And, and unbeknownst to me, I was poor growing up because she provided everything that I ever needed and, and wanted growing up. But she told me when I was older, there were times that we'd go to McDonald's and she'd get, you know, just one burger. And I'd say, Mom, where's yours? She goes, oh, I'm not that hungry. I just have a bite of yours. And, and it wasn't until I got older that I realized, you know, she couldn't afford uh, anything more than that one. So it was very eye-opening for me. And uh, it just made me want to work with children. And the thing about Red Nose Day, it's, it's a misnomer. Every day is Red Nose Day. And they have raised millions of dollars for, for children in poverty. And that's exactly what they want to end. So you can go to rednoseday.org. You can donate. You can find out how to participate. You can download a digital nose and put it on social media and spread the word. And we have a big event on NBC for Red Nose Day on May 27th at 8 p.m. So be sure to go to the website hey. and check it out. Got that. Thank you for telling us. And former President Barack Obama happens to follow you on Twitter, right? So do you guys actually DM each other? Barry. I call him Barry. We're, yeah, we're like best friends <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> yeah, I sent him a couple of DMs, uh, but he, he left them on red. And uh, <laughs> he just, he left me on red. But he's, you know, he, he's, he's busy. He's got some things he's taking care of. He actually yeah. started following me while he was the president of the United States. And, uh, oh. and people out there who follow me on Twitter, they know I'll, I'll tweet it out once every, you know, few months just to remind everybody that's my claim to fame. President Barack Obama. <laughs> for it. That's a good one, and I would do the same thing. Okay, let's talk about this. Now, back in the 90s, you said you bumped into Kelly Rowland and felt Ooh. like the two of you were destined to be together. Uh, yeah, you What's up go with that, Jocko? What's up with that? Marcel, I can't believe you brought that up. Yeah, uh, back in 1999, when I was actually in Houston, Texas, I was going to college there. I worked at a grocery store. I know some of you are familiar with Albertsons. I worked there. And Kelly Rowland actually walked in, and I was a cashier. And so I was, I was checking out, and I, I went over to this other register where she was, and, and I, said, I said the most corniest, worst line ever, all right? So the first thing I said was, hey, you know, what's up with the hookup to your next concert? And she said, oh, y'all oh, say that. Y'all supposed, supposed to support us. And I said, support you? Oh, I could pay you bills. Get it? Bills. Oh, pay you. <laughs> Yeah, look, she just she kind of looked at her like girlfriend. I can pay your telephone and like, bill. And I, I was like, yeah. You know, so, but, but on the way out, you know, she went over there and she she looked up and she got eye contact with me and she smiled and waved. And so right then, it was that moment that I felt in my mind <laughs> that it was meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was that the sign. That is a great story. At least you try. But now that you're a successful actor, have you told Kelly the story? Does she know? You know what? No, and, and, and I miss that boat. She's happily married. She's got a beautiful family. Congratulations yeah. to her. But uh, I, I was telling this story years ago to a buddy of mine, and I was like, yeah, and my plan is to tell Kelly that he said, no, bro, listen, don't ever <laughs> mention this to Kelly, whatever you do. 
So uh, maybe now people will tell her about it, or maybe she'll see you. Yeah, I'm sure That's they will. That's a good friend. Bloody. That's a good friend, you know. Now, your role as Dr. Floyd Reynolds on NBC's New Amsterdam is a full circle moment for you. Tell us how. Yeah, it's crazy because in school, even though my mom always tried to push me into arts and, and to take theater, I never did in school. Uh, and I, I was heavily into science and I wanted to be a doctor. I was so sure I'd be a doctor that I even got a medical symbol on my high school ring that you can customize. And uh, I got to college and that first year I, I, I decided to myself, you know, I don't want to be in school for the next 12 years. So I always loved to entertain, you know, for fun at home and stuff. So I took a theater course, fell in love with it, uh, and uh, I moved out to Los Angeles and, and got my uh, BA in theater at UCLA. Went on my first audition and booked it. And then I went on my second audition out the gate and, and booked it. I was like, this is what I, I was destined to do. But since then, I had always wanted to play a doctor. And here we are all these years later and I'm playing Dr. Floyd Reynolds on New Amsterdam, and, and I feel like I'm living oh, cool. two dreams at once. Oh, that so was perfect. destined to happen. Yes, it was yep. kismet. All right, well, what's coming up next with Dr. Reynolds on New Amsterdam this season? Ooh, well, Dr. Reynolds, you know, he's had a tough time with relationships. Uh, he, he just broke up with his fiance, uh, a casualty of the pandemic, and... Um, now he's he's met this new doctor, Dr. Lynn Malvo. And in the first episode, and if you if you didn't see it, they were, you know, kind of a little catty the first time they meet and then they got close. And by the end of the episode, he got the courage to ask her out. And that's when she revealed to him that she had a ring and she was married. So I found out later that, you know, from the writers that she was gonna be on for a while. I'm like, this is interesting. I'm gonna see where they're gonna gonna take this because it's not like Dr. Reynolds to to mess around with a married woman. So we just gotta right, see where this goes. Right. Is she really married? You know, that's the question. we got to see. Sounds wow. like Kelly rolling all over again. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but Jacko, we got a clip. Let's take it. Let's check it out. Dr. Reynolds, her symptoms would make her the ED's patient, not obese. Oh, OK. Now, hang on. Um, the ED's job is to triage, not treat all, which is exactly what we did. Now, real talk, what you should have done was call a surgery consult to handle her abdominal pain instead of shuttlecocking her down to us. Mm, now you're mansplaining. Uh, no, I'm just... You want to do real talk? Do you know how exhausting it is having every other department dump their patients on OB just because that patient happens to be pregnant? It's just lazy. <laughs> Guys? Wow. Jocko, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us today. New Amsterdam airs Tuesday nights on NBC, so be sure to check it out.